Hi everyone. Today I'm going to do a quick deadheading 101 for roses. Now these roses were the same ones you saw in my rose garden tour, which I think I posted last week, but we've had our first flush of blooms this spring. So all these roses were blooming and now the blooms have faded. All of these roses are shrub roses that are repeat bloomers. So you do want to make sure that these are repeat blooming roses because we're going to be pruning and shaping to encourage a second flush of roses. All right, so like I said, this is going to be a quick breakdown, a quick 101. I actually have a full article that I wrote with more details about deadheading and feeding roses, so I'll put a link to that down below, but let's get started. I thought it might be nice for you all to have a visual about, you know, if you read the article and you want to know what I'm talking about. All right, so what we want to do, this is a Desdemona rose, and it's honestly, I could have done this way sooner, but I haven't had the chance. So as you can see, it's got all of these expired rose heads that are now looking like they're forming hips, which we don't want right now. We do not want the plant to go to seed because it's not even close for it to be dormant. So um, we're gonna take you in closer and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. All right, so we are in close right now and I'm gonna talk to you first about the five leaflet rule. You might've heard about cutting your roses at five leaflets. And I'm gonna show you real quick with this as a example let's see so this one right here look how that only has right there only has three little leaf parts on that full leaflet you want to travel down the stem and you'll notice that down towards the bottom or as you move down now you're going to see here this has five leaflets so the five leaflet rule would tell me that i'm supposed to cut right above where there's five leaflets so i would cut right here now there are a couple reasons for this i've heard different things some people say that uh, five leaflets occur at a point on the stem where it's thick enough to support the new growth and the new stem and new blooms that are going to come from it so if i cut up where there's a three chances are you can see the stems are skinnier and it wouldn't support all the new growth whereas if you go down to a five leaflet it's going to be stronger i've heard other things too about um, that the growth hormones are more concentrated here and that's why honestly i'm not really sure but i do know that you can follow this rule or you can choose not to um that's just for me like if you want some guidance i usually go with the five leaflet rule so you want to chop right above a five leaflet but there's a second part to this too. Remember how I said that I like to deadhead and prune at the same time. So there's another concept that we need to talk about, which is this idea of this little point at every leaf node. This little point here at the leaf node, that's where new growth is going to come out. So what people like to do is know that that's where the growth is gonna come out, chop in the areas that encourage new growth in the direction that they want it. So you might hear to cut so that this is facing outward to encourage a vase shape on your plant. Now, in recent years, people have said this actually doesn't really matter. Um, so it's really up to you. But to me, it's like not that difficult to think about it that way. And so like, for example, here, this cut here, if I cut right above that five leaf node, I'm gonna get new growth headed out of the plant. And also I'm cutting at a leaf node, makes it pretty simple to me. So let's put these deadheading ideas and pruning things into practice. So this is one rose bush. Um, this is one expired head. We're gonna look and I'm gonna look at down at the five leaflets and f try to find a bud that's coming out that's facing outward on the bush. And honestly, this one looks really good. I'm gonna cut right above that that simple same with here this one's kind of facing out there's a five leaflet like that now this rose bush desdemona tends to be really big so if you want to control the growth habit you can actually prune even farther down so this one again now this one there's not really an outward facing bud that i like so we might actually go here but down to a five leaflet just because and really that's all it takes to deadhead and prune at the same time. So that's what I do after the first flush of roses. Sorry, there was a vine weed twist around here, so I was just getting rid of it. Um, that's what I do after the first flush of roses. Ooh, this one I'm gonna go down farther because I'd wanna give a little more space to the other rose here. And after I do this, I actually feed my roses as well. So if you go ahead and you go to my article, I talk about deadheading and feeding and how often I feed. 
So I'm going to do that after I'm done deadheading here. And you'll see this really is, I'm just trying to like figure out a good shape. I want to keep things from crossing like this one. I might actually cut farther down or take this off so he's not crossing. We're going to chop this one. We're going to do this. Also, I've seen some people just go through and like chop over the whole top. I mean, that's fine too. Um, but this is just what I do. And I find that sometimes as a beginner, especially if you're overwhelmed, like it helps to have steps for guidance, but you don't ever have to consider it to be like a steadfast rule or written in stone or anything like that. All right, so here we are. I've finished my shape pruning and deadheading, and then I'm going to feed the rose. I use rose tone. Um, I don't follow, I don't do it as often as the package says. Um, but I do do it after every flush. One other thing I did want to mention is that you might notice that some of the leaves had black spot. And black spot is something that comes around when it's wet. We had a lot of that this winter, and so some of the roses have that. Now, the cases haven't been so severe that I would worry about it at all, but I do remove a lot of whatever diseased leaves I see. So at the same time, you're inspecting the plant, you're removing diseased leaves, and you just basically shape it and get it ready for another flush. I hope that was helpful. This is simply how I deadhead and prune slash shape at the same time to keep the roses blooming. And if you have any further questions, you can leave them below.